Okay, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am going to be talking about my story. What happened to me when I was little. Okay, when I was seven years old, my stepdad would come into my room, take me to another room, and it would rape me every single day. At a young age, I never realized, like, what was going on. I thought it happened to everybody. I thought everyone got raped. I thought everybody was messed with. It wasn't until I got older that I realized this only happened to me. And that I need to tell somebody. Because my life, ever since it happened, my life has been turned in the wrong direction like no matter what I did no matter who I talked to no matter what I said I was always in the wrong position I would lie to my friends and tell them that I was a virgin because they were a virgin I didn't want to be the odd one so that being said it wasn't until my senior year of high school that I actually told my friends that I was raped. They didn't believe me at first, but then they soon realized I was telling the truth. They encouraged me to tell my mother, but I said that I wasn't. At the time, when it happened, it was her boyfriend who did it to me. So I didn't know how she would feel if I was to tell her. So I didn't tell nobody. I told my boyfriend about it. I told my best friends about it. But those were the only ones I told I didn't know like what to do so ever since it happened I would shelter myself if he came around I would hide if he came to my grandparents house I would hide if he would offer to give me something I would say no and he would give me this look like take it so when I was around eight years old no, when I first turned eight, he would like give me dollars for the things that he did to me and I didn't understand what he was doing. So I was afraid of him. So I did whatever he asked me to do. So I would give the money to my little sister and my oldest brother. And they would ask me, where did I get it from? And I was like, don't worry about it. Just take it. Go to school with it. Do whatever you want to do with it. So, it kept happening, and I kept getting raped, like, every single night. I'm not going to cry in this video. So, it kept happening, and I didn't know how to deal with myself. So, none of my family members knew about what happened to me or how long it lasted. It wasn't until when I turned 19 the end of 2017 and she was so fed up and she was mad and she didn't know what to do she thought that it was her fault i don't think that it was her fault i think that it was my fault i was careless i always had an attitude i didn't know how to control myself so growing up my life was like extremely hard like I would, I would just catch attitudes with everybody. I would get mad at everybody. I would yell at everybody. Like, it was really hard for me to keep friends because I would always yell at them. And I would always keep them in trouble and make it seem like that it wasn't my fault. When in reality, it is my fault. So, and I'm still surprised that I still have the friends that I have now, even though after all of that that happened to me. We were still friends even after I told them that I was right. Like, they felt that it wasn't my fault. Every step of my life, no matter what I did, no matter who I talked to, no matter what I said, I, will, I was constantly reminded of being raped. I would never tell anybody that I was raped. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, you are not fine. You have been raped. And now that I know that it's not my fault, it was his fault. He did this to me. He ruined my life. He ruined my childhood. And now that I'm older, I know that I would never get my childhood back. But now it's time to live my life 
from now on then not to live my life in the past yes I forgive him but I would never forget what he did to me I would never forget those nights where he would come in my room and take me and just do horrible things to me I would never forget that but I do forgive him it's like people get this fun they can do whatever they want to anybody I'm here to tell you you cannot do any and everything to everybody not everybody wants to be touched. Not everybody wants to be stared at. Not everybody wants to be noticed. Some people just want to be left alone. Right? Like me. I just wanted to be left alone. When it happened to me, I just wanted to be left alone. I wanted to be alone. Like, I didn't have any suicidal thoughts after that happened or whatever. But I just wanted to be left alone. Me being me. I, w I know I will always want to be alone. I don't I don't like being touched. I don't like being stared at. When I'm older, I know that God has a plan for my life. I know that whatever had to happen to me then won't happen to me again. I know that whatever I do, no matter what I say, I will always put my trust in God. Because God is the only one who is the head and control of my life. Like, nobody can take my life from me but God. And no matter what he did to me, he is not going, I'm not going to let him take my life from me. He took my childhood and he's not going to take anything else. I will strive to be a strong, dedicated young woman. I'm not going to let what happened to me pass in my life control me now. I mean that happened a long time ago and it's time to put things aside it's time to move on it is time to say God I give you my life you are the head and control of my life I give you everything not just a little bit I give you every bit and piece of my life I will continue to trust in you because no matter what people try to do, God will always pick you back up whenever you fall. And I will always put my trust in God. Because without God, I wouldn't be here right now. It was God that was keeping that man from killing me when I was younger. Because if I would have died, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have the friends I have today. I wouldn't have the life I have today without God. Thank you guys so much for watching. And... Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you subscribe, please turn the notification bell on because there will be more videos. I'm not saying like this, but there will be more videos. Thank you.